Hi, it's three minutes past eight. I don't know if there will be a power cut. If there isn't, we shall celebrate God for ha- for enabling me. If there is, we'll come back at ten, like I said. Um, I start to get comfortable highly at ten past, then I know where the power is not going to go. So let's see what happens. I will finish this part, though, despite there being a power cut, if there is one. Um, I was talking about my YouTube channel and how it is that my heart is so broken. I'm going nowhere. TikTok is the only environment that can validate me right now. Where I'm grateful for the fact that TikTok does not have a dislike button or a unheart button, like a, an upside down heart or whatever, to just suggest that I don't like your content. It is psychologically very devastating what YouTube is maintaining on there. It's heartbreaking. Even one dislike is so painful. So I see why Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, not YouTube, but Facebook, don't have an option for dislike. I can see why they took it away. I think it might be just because of behavioral psychology. It's less taxing on somebody uh because where, especially for new creators when they're starting out and you only have two or three people watching you if just one of those people dislike it's like you feel you it makes you stop so it's a very discouraging environment uh, to be in however um i should be at this present moment far enough some way to not let the ratio of likes to dislikes afflict me on youtube do you understand i, I should i should be there by now Mara, the way killing stagnant cutting i am not standing where i'm standing trying to toot my own horn saying my message is important enough for people to catch me or listen to me i am saying i'm obviously coming in the fire of the holy spirit by the anointing of the lord god almighty to speak and it is written in god's word that the line of the tribe of judah has roared who can but prophesy and that he will make us fisher of men so if nobody is listening to a blood a blood bought a uh, spirit-filled christian then either that land is uh what do you call this nazareth not Na- well it could be nazareth too but i wanted to say chorazan and bethsaida nazareth also because a prophet has no honor in his own hometown or there is spiritual manipulation i am literally sitting where i'm sitting wondering if south africa even cares to hear the gospel have you been fed the gospel for so long that you no longer can gauge the difference between a true disciple of the lord jesus christ versus not that you can no longer gauge the difference between sound doctrine and not that uh, uh, are you so bereft of biblical training and instruction in south africa having been spoiled by your country not persecuting christians that you now can no longer tell the difference between somebody that is worth your while to listen to versus not there are south african channels that i follow and i'm still trying to garner for myself a couple of them and all of these people the only reason i latch onto them is because they're worth my while to listen to because they're not um heretical upon finding them i'm holding on to them and i'm wondering if a person can hold on for instance to Porsche Mohau, if a person can hold on for instance to church reality check Riki, Riki, or whatever his name is if a person can hold on to uh doctor or mr mabocho mocho wako re or radio or whatever how you pronounce that go home said if a person can latch on from being Beginning to end, then why in the world are they not latching on to me? Bonkela Bantu from South Africa. Bamo South Africa. The radio, Rigi, Porsche. I'm still looking for more. What are the algorithms in the to them? Do you understand? Because I'm trying to come back home to South Africa. If Porsche can get a decent audience on her channel, and if Ricky or Rick can get his de- a decent following on his channel, why am I not getting listened to? Because I anticipate or I imagine that what I'm saying is worth the while to be heard. So, hi, Bane, hi, Kemamelwi. South Africa has only chosen, like, you know what, guys? If a country is going to embrace a prophet, they will embrace all prophets, Lanza Bali 29. And if a country is going to reject a prophet, they will reject the prophet, Lanza Bali 29. This is what Elijah's lament was when he wanted God to kill him. Bonalomundu. She kills all of your prophets. Get saying, there's no place for me here. It's pointless. Because here it is that I did this miracle on Mount Carmel. I've shown all these people all these miracles and these signs and these wonders. And yet, that was Elijah. And what was the response of the angel of the Lord? Amazing. Goosebumps. Blom. Relax. Get up and eat. Your journey is still too great. Besides, there are 7,000 others that have not knelt to Baal. So how the Lord, why the Lord did not decimate all of Israel was because of those 7,000. It is always for the sake of the elect of God that God rescues any ecosystem. So if South Africa is still standing, no less. In the beginning of spring, no whole more hot than the fella 24 hours a day. Or such a good week getting tossing and turning in bed. Lift fanny hybrid. And all of September, not even a single drop of rain. Can I get a remote drought? Obviously, there is judgment in this land. And then what? Then October, late October, and it started to pour. Today, they get complain like a bula. Kia hona hona hona. When it was droughting, Jose na menti. They a little bit excited. I'm sorry to be negative. Like my heart is broken 24 hours a day. I was like, oh my goodness, judgment is here. South Africa is not getting rain. Next thing, the dams are drying up. Next thing, we're dealing with the Euphrates, the Euphrates River. 
But instead of Euphrates, get you scared. How on a meet go you scared? I was literally expecting this country to go bone dry because God has taken his favor away from the land. But as soon as it started to rain cats and dogs, to a point where but to buy the badula go uh you know more le more killer road to go opposite the mukukunya thingy mukukunya thingy are they being flooded there to a point where there's a flood by the mukukus there by killer road to go so it when it started to rain cats and dogs like that to a point where the fl floodings were happening goody highwaying by report that go e n c a l s a b c news i was like okay so flooding is not the best thing to endure but in a land that is dry that essentially declares itself as one that is in a drought for it to get buckets of rain is for that land to be uh under grace it is for that land to be under grace if it is for god to have mercy upon that land it is for god to for the sake of the elect of god rescue the entire land it is for the lord to have identified a little bit of a lot or a little bit of a noah to essentially gather them up until they've reached the full number of themselves before he can deluge the land or rain fire and brimstone. Pula etilenka late October and now November. Jika hasn't seen Hona Hau Toko Hagana. Na has told me Hore Hona Le Musa. Hona Le Mohau over South Africa, even though na personally I am not the beneficiary of it. Hagiz Hore, Hotli Le Zhuang Nakibam Zalani, Gili Wani, or sing beneficiary Mohawa Morena Jesso. Everybody else Wahona who Sebeta Jaka Poshia, everybody else Wahona Sebeta Jaka Riki. Wonkumuntu else is able to get their YouTube channels. Wonkumuntu can preach the gospel. Wonkumuntu can belong to Easton, to Elba Tanda, or Elinaba persecuting me, nothing persecuted by the South African church. In Nam, what is wrong with me, God? Why am I the only saint in this country that is l religiously liberated to do what they want to do, and yet I cannot practice my religion? I feel like I'm a born again Christian in some harsh, hostile against the gospel nation. I feel like I'm a China, guys. I feel like I'm slap bang in the center of, of Baghdad. I say Afghanistan or something. I feel like I am in North Korea. I feel like I'm in North Korea. Go Pyongyang. Mama Haring and North Korea. Give first to Hulu. She passed it. She said, "Listen, listen, giant day." Sa the predecessors of Kim Jong Un. I feel like I'm living in a country that is hostile to the gospel, and I feel like I'm the only person experiencing that. And I don't want to have delusions of grandeur. I do not want to have some kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy to be the only persecuted Christian in the land. On that day, I'm not the only persecuted Christian in the land. And and if at all I'm persecuted, what's up persecuted about Chwaban? Think now, what's wrong with me? Do you know how many times I have gone and asked God, Yingam, what is it about me, God, that would cause me to not be able to have a leg room Christianity? The way there's so much leg room. Why can I not be a Christian liberally in a country that is not typically persecuting of saints? What's wrong with me? I have asked God so many times and I don't get it. I am targeted, I'm persecuted, I am isolated, ostracized, and severely abused. And everywhere I seek out help, everybody ends up persecuting me. So either South Africa is lying, or Minang Jutegile, or something is being done, and I don't know what it is, but it's caused me a great deal of anguish and angst. I don't understand what is happening. And when just when I was thinking this judgment on the land, then also makes me be like, but why are you blossoming my lomo? Why are you causing their flowers to shoot forth? Why are you causing their vineyards there in Cape Town to be watered that they might get grapes and so therefore maintain the status as the wine capital of the world? Why are they maintained in this when they are doing this to me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? It has caused me to question whether or not I'm even saved. And it has especially made me think that God does not care just for me because everybody else gets to do their own thing. But that's just the thing. I believe that there's no hope and that God rather take my life than for me to continue roaming like this. Let's move to the next part.